Hi, good morning, Philadelphia. I'm Katie Easterly, Coldwell Banker Preferred. And today I wanna to talk very quickly about what's happening in the Philadelphia market. So we are approaching mid-February. The winter market is slowly receding behind us. We had the Super Bowl last weekend. The holidays are long been over and we're moving into an early spring market. So we fully expect more inventory to hit the market soon and things are really gonna kick off and heat up for spring and summer. But right now in this mid-February period, inventory in the city, especially desirable areas, is pretty low and homes are hitting the market and then they're gone. They're gone within a day or if you're able to get in there and get an offer in, you're in a competing bid situation. So I wanted to talk quickly to my buyers who are wanting to get into this market now, some little things that you should consider and line up and start doing so that when you see the house of your dreams, you're ready and you can pounce on it and you won't be one of those sad stories where we, we lose the house because we didn't take action quick enough. So just a few tips for things that you can start to do. The first one, and if you follow my videos, you know I harp on this all the time, but get pre-qualified. I'm gonna keep saying it until I'm blue in the face. Go ahead and talk to a loan officer. Your realtor should know of at least have a few on their speed dial they can recommend. And go ahead and get that pre-qualification letter. Line up your financial house and really understand what you can reasonably afford. Now along with that, it's not just knowing the range of a mortgage you can afford. Break that number down and understand your monthly payment. What is that going to look like? What is it going to look like for different loan programs, different percentages of down payments, really do your homework up front. Even if you don't have a house in mind yet, do your homework and understand everything that goes into a monthly payment and being able to afford a home. So you want to arm yourself with that information as early in the process as possible. So get pre-qualified, know your numbers. Um, the next one, Know what you're looking for. I've also talked about this a lot before too. Make a list of things that you absolutely must have versus nice to haves versus your deal breakers. But then within that, and especially if you're buying a home with somebody like a significant other, a spouse, you guys really have to get on the same page. Um, I have a couple of clients right now. They're a fabulous couple. We can't wait to find them their dream home but there's a bit of a disconnect on what they're looking for. One of them wants a rehab, the other one wants move and ready. That's a big decision. So really sit down and clarify what you are willing to take on, what you like, what you don't like. Write it down and at some point, make a deadline for yourself. If you're serious about buying a home, pick a day on a weekend, go make a list and then decide between you or you and your significant other Decide that that's the criteria you're going to stick to. It will really, really help your decision-making process, and it won't drive you guys crazy uh, when you're out looking. So really get clear on what you want. Make a list, and then you have to set a deadline where you stick to it, and you just keep going with that search. Um, the next thing, make sure that your realtor has set up automatic searches for you. Good realtors will do this for you. Um, they, there should be no trouble getting this set up. Um, they can set up different daily alerts or weekly alerts based on your preferences of how often you want email notifications when new things hit the market. Uh, make sure that your realtor has you set up. In addition to that, your realtor has access to something called a hot sheet on the MLS. They should be reviewing that every day and that shows them what has happened in the market that day. So your realtor needs to know what's on the hot sheet. You need to know what's hitting the market on your daily alerts. And that will just help you stay on top of the market and really get to know an area of what is selling, what's sitting, and what is happening. Um, next, and this one could be a little contentious, but I'll put it out there anyway. As a buyer, be prepared to reschedule your schedule. So unfortunately, I have had clients before where they, they are ready, they're ready to buy a house, and they say they're ready, but when it comes time to look at it, they're only available a week or two from now, or they're only available this one particular day at this strange time. And look, I understand everybody's busy, everybody has obligations, and we're, we all have crazy schedules. But when you are serious about buying a house, that should move up on your priority list. 
And if you, if there's a particular house that you want to get into it, let's say it's just hit the market, it's a great price, you're very interested, be prepared. Help your realtor out by presenting some really close, reasonable times that you can get in there. Um, I have had clients in the past where let's say a house pops on the market on Tuesday. They can't meet until the weekend. And unfortunately, by the time the weekend rolls around, that house could be gone. So don't be that person. Be prepared to reschedule your schedule and work with your realtor um, and have some flexibility so you can get in there and, and be competitive. Um, next, and this is my final point, if you've done your homework, if you're pre-qualified, you've run the numbers with your realtor and with maybe someone else you trust, your significant other, your accountant, whoever else is part of the decision-making process, if you've run your numbers, you've done your homework, you know what you can afford, you know how much your down payment's going to be, um, you know what your monthly payments are going to look like, you've run scenarios and strategies with your realtor, you're on the same page, if you've done all all of that, and then you walk into a house and you and you get the feeling, you know, this is the one I want to put an offer in. Don't dilly dally. Put the offer in. Trust your realtor that they're going to be there for you and represent your best interests and get the job done. Put the offer in and go for it. Again, this is saying you've done your homework. You are ready to rock and roll. Don't hesitate. Again, I have seen this too. Clients, they're in their dream home. They want more time to think about it, even though they're ready and they lose it, and that is so sad, and I hate when that happens, and I don't want that to happen to you. So when you've done your homework and you're ready to jump, jump, pull the trigger. It's going to be okay. Um, buying a house, especially your first time, it can seem like an intimidating process, but if you have a good realtor, they're going to hold your hand through the process. You're going to learn a lot, and it should be fun. Buying a house should be a celebrated milestone. It should be fun. So make sure you set yourself up so that you can have fun and you're not stressing out too much about it. So those are just a few of my tips for being competitive in this very tight market where we have low inventory. If you have any questions or are looking for some representation, I would love the opportunity to help you. Please give me a call. All of my information is below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm Katie Easterly, Coldwell Banker Preferred. I look forward to hearing from you soon and working with you. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.